Delk is here. Welcome back, guys. So, now that you've kind of gone through the beginning part of the game and mining out here, after you do a few of the quests, I think you have to finish the mining quest. I could be wrong. Um, it may be the last hangar quest. But once you do that, you can go through this door and there's this hallway, right? And there's all these different doors. There's the wardrobe, harvesters, workbench, and tuning, and we'll get to those later, but we're going to talk about what you do to go in the ocean, to get in your sub, and start mining in the ocean. So, you walk straight down this hall, and you enter here the hangar. Alright, and so this is the hangar, and there is the froggy. This is the first sub, the very smallest sub that you get for free. Um, so, we're going to enter and go here, and it pulls up this warning. You are entering a dangerous area. To return, you need to go through the gate, right? So, click OK, and it'll load you into the ocean. Now, this is a dangerous area. As it says, it has um, PvP. There's some NPCs that will kill you, so you don't want to go AFK in this area. Um, so, first, we'll talk about the controls. And... You can probably see, I have it covered up with my video here, but um, you can see on the right hand middle, it says ship controls and WASD controls the movement. And so the W and S, every time you press W, it'll increase the speed 10%. Right? So if you 10 times, it'll go up to 100% speed. And then the shift key, gives you an extra boost, it's like a nitro booster. So if you hold shift down, it'll make you go even faster. All right, so that's the, and then your mouse will direct your, the way your, your ship is pointing, all right? Your A and D keys are, is kind of like a strafe movement. It'll go side to side. So that's kind of the control of the ship there. Um, and then Control key will submerge, so you sink closer to the floor. The space bar ascends and will raise you up. All right. If you click the right mouse button, you have a can look around your your sub this way. All right, and then the last thing is the middle mouse button. If you press it, it'll shoot your torpedoes. And so that's if you want to do some PvP, hunt some people down, or if some of the NPCs spawn and you need to kill them, that's how you will do that. So the main point of this ocean right now is obviously you want to mine resources. So you can kind of see these little geysers right here. And that signifies that there is some resource that you can mine. All right, you can't tell just by looking at the geyser what it is, but if you look at that sonar on the top right, it will give you a display. So that one's O2, so I want to mine some O2, so I'm going to come down here and submerge in there. And then if you see the other sonar, um, on the sonar there's EL, which is electronics, so the one off to the left kind of is electronics. Um, right now we're going to mine some oxygen, but basically to mine, you want to get in the your your nose of your sub into the middle of those geysers there and when you do that all right when you do that as you can see on the left hand side the mining thing appears let's press e to start mining oxygen so we're going to press e and it starts spinning, it'll count up to 100%. And for oxygen, every 100%, it gives you 50 cargo. And you have a cargo capacity starting out with 1,000. Um, you can get modules that'll upgrade that, but it starts with 1,000. So you plant your sub down here and hit E, and it'll mine and fill up. It doesn't take too long, probably, I don't know, maybe three minutes or something. So it's not really something that you want to walk away from and leave it, especially because it, 
it doesn't take it that long, like I said, but also people can kill you in this area. NPCs can come and kill you. So it's not really something that you want to just walk away from. You can, you know, start mining and then maybe look at a, a website or something like that, but you're not going to want to completely walk away from your computer. Um, so there's a bunch of different um, geysers in this area. There's two for every resource, and I believe in this area there's about five resources that you can mine, at least at this time. Um, there's electronics, oxygen, iron, stone, and oil. And so those are the five resources, the basic resources that you can mine right now in this area. And basically you use those to construct all your different harvesters and modules, um, components, and things like that. And I'll show you a little bit more about the harvesters later in this video. We'll kind of touch on that. And the harvesters are what you'll be able to mine re these resources passively. So you'll want to get those up and running as soon as possible. Those be the first things you'll build. Like I said, I'll, I'll go into more detail about that later. Um, but that's what we'll cover. And then I'll show you more of that crafting as we get back into the hangar area. So we're, we're filling up slowly here. We got about 600, so a little over halfway. So we'll just hang out for a little bit longer. And you can look around. It's a good idea to to see and watch if anyone's coming. It looks like there's someone right there. I don't know who that is. But there's someone hanging out. Oh, so I'm going to start it again. All right, so one more load here. Now, once we're filled up, start ascending. And you want to point yourself at, where is it? This, this is how you enter the hangar again. So that's the gate. And so we'll aim towards that. And let me make sure and change that there. So we'll enter the hangar again once you have your full load of cargo. All right, and once you're loaded back into the hangar, you will see this screen. You want to just turn to the left a little bit and then go to this little container on the right here and you'll see open cargo or open ship cargo. You press E, it shows your froggy. Um, click on that and then here is the cargo loaded in the ship. So you want to unload all. When you click this button here, it'll load it into your base cargo. All right, so generally I'll get a load of that and then at this time, I'll run back and start crafting some more components. So we'll run back in here and go to your workbench and start whatever you want to start crafting. So let's, let's do a chip here. Um, I'm going to do another fuse. I'm going to get a wire going and I'm going to build another iron plate. So these are kind of all your components right here that you need to construct different things. The, the first big structures you're going to want to build are in buildings, and these are the harvesters. So I would suggest the first thing that you focus on crafting is this 
the standard harvester. And that's because these electronics are the most required resource and that's what this harvester is going to let you mine. So I would suggest building this harvester first and then an ore harvester which you want to start on iron and then an oil or liquid harvester which you can you can mine oil with and then maybe another ore harvester so you can be mining the iron and stone. Um, so once you construct these, you click craft, right? And then you go over to this window right here, the harvesters window, and you will see what harvesters you have crafted. And I'll show you this one. So this one is my main harvester. Let's unload this and unplug it. So what you'll see is this once you build it and you want to plug it in. So to plug, and then these are the four resources that are in the main base area. So these are the only thing that you can plug these harvesters to. Um, and this is the main harvester, so it lets you mine the electronics, which, like I said, is the most um, used resource, at least for the current buildings and modules. So this is the one I would suggest to get first. It is the most expensive one, but it overall will pay off to have be mining these first. So once you do that, plug it and then connect harvester. And when you do that, it'll say extractable resource, electronics, work status true. So it'll start generating these electronics for you passively, which is really nice because you don't have to go back and forth like you are mining in the ocean, right? So I, like I said, have constructed four harvesters already. You get your electronics one first, and then an ore, which I plugged into iron, and then your liquid one, which I plugged into oil, and then lastly, another ore harvester that you can plug into stone. So that's kind of the order that I did it in. You don't have to do it in that order, but it is kind of, you know, it's what I suggest. I definitely suggest getting the electronics one first. From there, you can kind of decide what else you want to do. But once you have all four of those, Let's start some more modules here. Um, wire, fuse, materials. And so once you get these, we'll go back out there. And so once you have the four extractors, you're extracting all the resources from the main base. But the other one that you're really going to need and that you want to focus on mining from your sub in the ocean is the oxygen because oxygen you can't get from the main base in the harvesters, so you're going to need to go in the ocean and get it. So we'll load back in here and do one more fill up for you. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different geysers all over the place around here. Um, they all have different things. I believe there's two of every resource. There's like two geysers of every resource of the five. Um, and they do show up on your scanner, but after you do this a little while, you do get used to kind of where they are. Um, so you don't even really have to look at it on the, the sonar, but it does help. So we'll do another fill up of oxygen here. And so like I said, while basically I, I'd like to do a fill up, go back, unload it, and then run into that room and start a couple modules crafting and then go back out and do another fill up. I kind of start mod crafting modules between every between every load that you will gather from your sub. So we'll finish this up. Let it go through. And but that's basically the gist of this, of what I want to talk about, kind of the, the maneuvering and what you're going to be doing in your sub and the resources you need and then the harvesters. The harvesters are key um, and help you. They gather a lot more resources a day than you can filling up with the sub. If you spent, you know, 24 seven filling up with the sub, you might be able to get the same as a harvester. But once you add multiple harvesters and the different ones, um, you are going to be generating a lot more than you will be able to just by doing 
solo runs like this. However, like I said, you do have to, once you have those four harvesters, focus on gathering oxygen because it's the only thing that you can't gather from the main base um, and those harvesters that you do need uh, quite a lot of. So basically I have my harvesters mining all those other four resources and then the only thing that I fill up with when I go out in, in the sub is oxygen, at least at this time. It could change in the future. I know they're going to be adding some buildings that allow you to mine the resources in the ocean um, in a future patch. So that may change in what you need to use your sub to gather, but at this time I'd suggest doing it that way. And we're a little over halfway. So we'll finish up. Here. All right, a few more ticks and we'll head back to the hangar. All right, so we're full up and start ascending again with the space bar. Point yourself towards that hangar entry and head over and we'll load back into the hangar and then unload the sub. All right, let's load back in there. And again, guys, to unload, you just turn to the left and then it's the right, uh, right box over here. Press E to open it up, select your sub, and then unload all. We'll unload all, everything in the sub into your main cargo. And then you can see here what you have and all that. And I will go back. Like I said, I like between every load, I like to come back and start crafting another round of components. Get another wire going, do another fuse, and do another chip one, another iron plate. Got a minute on the chip, so we'll wait for that. But yeah, that's basically it that I wanted to show you today, guys. Um, thanks for coming by and checking it out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or join the Discord. There's people there who will, will help you out. And if you have any problems or questions, I'll see you there.